Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a fun idea using the pull tab flip card idea. It's a fun interactive card idea. We recently went on a trip with Stampin' Up! and one of my favorite things about getting together with different demonstrators is getting card ideas and fun ideas from different people. We got this idea from a fellow demonstrator, Christine McNichol, and we just loved how this card flips open when you pull the tab, hence the name pull tab flip card. <laughs> so I kind of tweaked the layout a little bit and made it my own and I want to show you how I did it and give you some of the dimensions for this card. So here is the card that I came up with. I used the Super Cool Stamp Set. Yes, that's what it's called. Super Cool Stamp Set. It's this really cute stamp set. It's kind of eclectic looking and it has all these different fun um, images in it and some really fun sayings. So I used this stamp set and came up with some of these card ideas. So this is how it, it works. You just pull this little tab and it flips. And I wanna show you how to make that little flip happen. Okay, so I have all of my pieces and this is the magic piece that makes all the flip happen on this card. But I want to put it all together with you so that you can see exactly how it goes together. So I have my card base here. This is just five and a half by four and a quarter, so a typical card size. And then I have another piece. This is kind of the card front. Um, and I stamped it with that cute pretzel stamp in that super cool stamp set. And this is a five by three and three quarters piece. And I just ran through the stylish shape dies, um, one of the banners. You could also just cut a little slit in that if you don't have that die set. But this is where I'm going to put my little pull tab through, just like this, okay? But first, I want to pop this up using Stampin' Dimensionals right on my card base. So, grab my dimensionals. The reason that I pop that up is, that, is so that there's plenty of space for that little tab to move around behind my card. So I'm just gonna center that right on top, okay? And now I'm going to stick my tab right down in. This is the little piece that is going to do all the magic on this card. It's what's going to make the card move. So this is a five and five eighths by two inch piece and it's scored at one and a half and one and seven eighths, okay? So this little piece is going to just fit right down through the center of our little cut here and it's just going to be level even right with the base of our card, okay? And then we're going to bring in our front, the front of our card. This is this piece that kind of flaps here, you can see. And this is a four by three piece. We're gonna put just a little bit of Stampin' Sill on the top of our little tab there. And then we're just going to center this making sure that the bottom is flush with the bottom of the card and you're just going to center it right on top of that little pull tab. Just like that. Okay. Okay, and then on the inside of the card you have two little pieces of basic white. These pieces cut to three and a half by two and an eighth and they're going to be for the inside of your card. So one you can stamp on, and then one is going to serve the purpose of holding our tab in place on our card. So let me show you. This one I'm just going to put right here and center it right on the top of my card front, okay? And I'm just gonna use Stampin' Seal to do that. So we're going to adhere our white piece right to this tab right here, okay? Again, using Stampin' Sill. 
and just write centered just like that. Okay? And then we're going to take some tear and tape. I want this piece to kind of hold strong because it's going to take the brunt of being pulled. So I'm going to use just a little bit of tear and tape and just put right at the base of that white piece, just right on the back of it, okay? And then tear that wax paper off. And I'm going to, again, recenter my card so that that tab is right at the bottom and centered. And then we're just going to close our card. Just like that. And have that tear and tape piece hold right there. Okay, so now we have our little pull just like that. Okay? Okay, and I'm going to use this, the very best trio punch. It has this little slit um, punch that you can use. I'm just going to pull out my tab just like that. You could do this before you put your card together, but I'm just going to fit that in there and just do a little punch just on the end of my pull tab. And that is where I'm going to tie my ribbon, just like on my finished card, so that I can pull that little tab, just like that. And then add your accessories. I used the little piece from the slit inside my, on that um, petal pink piece as one of my decorations. And then you are so super cool, just like that. So fun and actually pretty simple. Um, if you just follow the few steps of putting it together. So let me show you a few other card ideas that I came up with using the same design. This is the exact same measurements and layouts. I just, instead of having it open like that, I did it on the side. So you are so sweet. So cute. And then this one, I actually, this does have a few different measurements. I did it the long way instead of the short way. So, so fun. So cute. So we will be doing a blog post on stampinjill.com of the, the long version of this pull tab flip card. So make sure to go check that out. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.